as we have initially defined whenever we use the word securitization it is like a company will have some credit sensitive assets credit sensitive assets means there is some amount of uncertainty in terms of receiving them or in terms of getting their full value so it could be uh, as simple as some current assets like uh, accounts receivables or inventories which form as a part of my credit sensitive assets or they could be the long term things like uh, let's say the loans for a bank housing loans or probably a credit card receivables if i look at it from a bank standpoint the credit card receivables so any of these they they are called as credit sensitive assets for the simple reason they there is some level of uncertainty in terms of their collection and there may be some kind of default that can happen on those uh, uh, on those assets there may be a reduction in the value on those assets in reality so those kind of assets i am trying to sell i am trying a company is trying to sell off those assets to a third party and this third party will issue buying those credit sensitive assets it will issue some securities it could be in the form of bonds it will issue the securities to the investor community so for this investor community as and when the cash flows come from here they are transferred by the third party to the investors so the instruments are created the securities are created in such a way that the payment to the investors both in terms of coupon as well as uh, principal or intermediate cash flows and final cash flows they are paid based on the cash flows that are received from the underlying entity here so they are backed by the pool of these cash flows now initially this party which has bought these credit sensitive assets it is pumping in cash here and the moment it has pumped in cash here the assets can be removed from the balance sheet they can be removed only if they are records only if they are non records means once sold out it's a true sale so only then they are removed from the balance sheet and it is becoming an off balance sheet kind of a transaction so whenever we are doing a proper securitization it becomes an off balance sheet transaction and we see that many of these assets so it could be either accounts receivables or inventories or uh, from a bank standpoint we'll see there are different kinds of loans but the common feature is still the same each asset will have to generate some kind of cash flows in future right so in this process if we are seeing this particular company which wants to sell off its assets credit sensitive assets we call it as the originator and the company which wants to initiate the securitization process in most of the cases it could be the same firm which is 